Biden. And uh, and, man, and what would you do when you need to deal with toxic people? You know, that people that have the skill for it drags you down, feel you depressed, or it made you feel like uh, what are you doing right now? And your your project is dumb, or probably you're gonna fail someday. You know. Uh, honestly, the best thing to do is just distance yourself from them. If they can't support you and what you want to do, they're not really worth your time. And like any of the people who I'm friends with and who I would gladly support, you know, I support their dreams and stuff and I want to see them succeed as much as they want to see me succeed. And that's a healthy relationship right there. Uh, it just really, it, it's difficult sometimes because some of the people you love the most are the ones who are like some of the toxic ones, but just giving yourself healthy distance from them, you know, and not really taking their words too seriously is sometimes the best you can do. And it's a little uh, sad, you know, when you just realize that, that people that trying to track you down or feel you dismotivated or frustrated with what are you doing in your life are friends. Well, actually, they were friends, closest friends. They, in the beginning, our friendship, they tried to motivate me a lot. But at the end of the day, they change and they want to see you fail. And they're not going to tell you. And it's sad, you know. Probably, you know, have you ever have, you know, those kind of friends that they said, oh my god, man, you're amazing, you're, you're good, but uh, eventually you find out that those guys are not actually your friends, you know? Yeah, uh, that, that honestly hurts the most out of anything, like, having somebody who was there for, you know, before you started it and then you got into it and it turns out that they're the people that hurt your back the most, uh, that is an unfortunate part of life, but... That is a, you know, a part of life, and I guess we do have to take, the only thing I can really look to it in those situations is the people who have been there, and you know, even if they aren't the longest time friends, the ones who have been super supportive, uh, taking, you know, cherishment in other people's meaningful friendships too, you know, I look to the people who have been the strongest for me, and that's how I get best through those situations. That's cool, man. So basically, man, we need to deal with that people. Eh? Yeah. Something, something, man, that I, I do more eh, when I found some people that are trying to be just nice with me because he wants or she wants something for me. You know, I'm being polite. I'm not going to be rude. You know, I normally, I just said, uh, you know, trying to, you know, it's like um, I found this person. And this person, he seems to be nice in the beginning. But then he sent me some kind of real weird messages telling me, I don't know, I know that you know about this thing, you know, you know this. It's like a, a, asking me for some free information. Don't you think I need something sad or something bad that some people do? And if you refuse this request, this friend of yours, they can, see, they can think that you are a bad, a bad guy that you are a bad person or you know make me feel like I'm guilty or something you know so man it's up to mm -hmm. you uh yeah it really does suck when you run into those people because especially in the music scene people are like oh hey can you record this or produce this and then the second you'll be like hey man you know like this is a business this is something i need to be paid for and then they do make you feel bad about it and those people will try to keep using you until you just cut it dry with them be like look you know these are my reasonable you know thing i do a service for you i require a financial payment that is not any bounds of our friendship i still you know value you as a friend but that is not something as a business person that i'm willing to you know do you know my time in my professional industry you know it means money and it's what i do so sometimes you do have to cut that distinction between friend and business yeah it's i'm not gonna say it's hard but it's sad you know when you need to say goodbye to a, a closest friend that in the beginning he was there or probably he pretend to be nice just because he wants something from you you know yeah it really is it hits really hard and i don't think the people realize it has much of an impact as it does it's like uh, they're asking you about your job. How at the, uh, hey, Spoo, you know, they said, uh, how do you do this? You're a music, uh, you're a music producer, so you need to know the connection or 
how to use this software like um dude are you asking for my job and you wanna find yeah, basically <laughs> yeah it's like uh, for you that kind of job is easy because you're a professional in that area it's like if someone asking me about pcs or viruses or programs i know because it's my thing is another job that i have and i'm good at it and when I see some friend of mine call me, did you, 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 you know, look at that question, did you know how to do this, like, uh, man, this is a job, and I'm going to tell you that information just because you are my friend, you know, probably <laughs> you get wrong our friendship, man. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and they said, you're it's a bad, a, it's you're like a bad. like almost job security. Yeah, you are a bad guy, you're a bad friend. It's like, oh my God, man. <laughs> And at the ending of the day, it made me feel like uh, I'm the bad guy, I'm doing something wrong, or guilty. And then, uh, then I said to myself, why do I feel guilty about I'm not doing anything, I'm just protecting my job. This is money. It's not just something, you know, he has YouTube, he can find out there, but it's going to be his time, you know. 